I've been asked to make a couple of uh, coloured bowls with iridescent paint on the bottoms. Uh, so what I've done is um, I've turned some rough shapes out. I'm just going to put an inny spigot on uh, both of these so that I can do the bottoms. So coloured bottoms, turned out tops, uh, finished on the inside. That's the plan. So here we go with some spigots on the inny spigots, they're called, on the front. The jaw chucks are 47 on the uh, inner, on for the expandable. So what I've gone, I've gone to 24 mil there. Uh, make a little pencil mark. Ready now to go in. So lades down. Mark the point to start with. So I've got a nice, uh, nice chucking point on there now, and I'll reverse it, uh, and I'll do the same. I'll check the reverse it. I'll turn it, and then I'll do the other one exactly the same. So I'm going to apply a light coat of sanding sealer uh, to the bottom. So running quite low speed. Let that dry off. Quite some nice figuring when we get inside. So light and dark. Nice contrast with the coloured bottom, and this will show through at the bottom here as well. So, I'm hoping it's going to be quite nice. This one, so now that's got a couple of coats of uh, black lacquer on and a clear lacquer just over the top. I think one of the nice things about ash is that it still shows the grain through, so it's going to enhance the colouring even more. I hope. I'm using the Joe Sonja's iridescent paints, uh, three colours I've got uh, red iridescent violet and turquoise and a little bit of gold so three colors and a little bit of gold to highlight and see how that turns out preferred methods of putting on there's all sorts people use uh, i've been inspired by uh, lots of the professionals who use thing film and all sorts of things other people will know various different methods of doing it i've got two different bits of sponge i'm just going to dab it on blob it about and uh, and see how it turns out i've laid out red violet turquoise and some Joe Sonja's uh, flow medium just to thin it down a little bit uh, that's the idea I'm going to put it on with a brush and then just dab it about and see how it turns out here we go just random not trying to be too clever about it hope I've got enough paint if not I can just chuck a bit more on quickly And that's probably enough. I gauge that quite well, hopefully. That's one. Uh, I don't really need to clean my brush, but I'm just going to wipe it on a piece of tissue. Pick up a bit more of the uh, flow medium, mix it into the violet, and dodge that about all the spaces. Well, it always looks a mess at this stage. Have a look from the other view. Oh yes, there's that kind of arch going on. I quite like that.
Starting to turn off the uh, inside now. Now got to the stage you turn the bottom off. Uh, quite pleased with it and nearly finished.